Hello. In this short video, I'll show you the new features in Capture 2. This is the Capture 2 new UI. What I'm going to do is click the record button and actually start navigating through my website. What we'll see is Capture starts documenting what I'm doing in the website and shows me little thumbnails along the way. You'll see as I navigate through the screens, the previous activity is captured and I get a screenshot. As I navigate through data elements, I'm seeing a narrative of the data and screenshots along the way. So what happens is when I want to create documentation for to share a process with somebody, all I have to do is walk through the user interface and activate Capture. What will happen is we'll attach into the browser and start monitoring what they're doing and provide all the screenshots and documentation along the way. This really helps when you think about agile teams who need to document processes or you need to share an activity with different people. I can also do some interesting things. I'll click over here and I'll click the standard order number and then I'm going to actually say add a comment. I can put any type of annotation or comments along the way. This is just helpful when business people need to explain to technical people how to do a process um, or how to automate it. Um, instead of going back and forth, they can simply work the way they do normally, go through the user interface and put maybe a couple extra comments, or they could even do a screenshot. So if I can say take a screenshot and add it to the desktop itself. So this allows them to document their process without heavy burden itself. I can also do other things, right? So say I have manual steps in my process. I'm going to click new name here. I'm saying manual price check. I'm going to just name this activity and I'm going to put a comment on it. And I'll throw a screenshot in there. So now, if someone was automating this, they would need, no, they need to go automate interaction with Microsoft Excel to do a price lookup, or maybe they would use SOAP UI to get the service on the back end with the price and validate it. So what I've done is I've actually gone through and I've documented my process by just doing what I do every day and I'm uploading it into Analyze. This is great for business analysts or QA who need to share information that explain how to do something in the UI or how an overall process or maybe a feature in an Agile Sprint works. Then ideally what happens is I have lots of teams working together and they want to be able to share this information. So I can see here I've got some different processes that different teammates have captured today. So some of them fall around this logging to the logging across the process. Some people work through the home and the helper pages. Um, what I've done is I've done this one here with the manual price check. What I'm going to do is just so generate documentation. And generate away. So what this does is allows me to graphically see how how my processes are comparing to other people who are working, and I can now generate my documentation. The documentation we generate in a PDF or in a Word document. I can see here the gear is spinning, so the process is being generated. Once it's done, I'll get the page. This is ideal when I want to actually share details of a process to other teams. So in Capture 2, I was able to capture my web page and other applications. This works for different things in Win32 and also with mobile. I get a nice well-formed business process document. I get the screenshots and I get the actions. I did a left click on the order sales button. I can see that I hit the enter key and then I started entering the data. Now remember I said I did that manual step down here. Well, I can see here I clicked on the sales order, so I got a nice screenshot. I said, keep the standard order number for deliveries and billing. So it's helpful someone would know what to do with this in the future. And then I can see that there's actually screenshots of my, my manual price lookup here. 
So this is an example of using our new Capture 2 technology, which shows you what's happening behind the scenes. You can use this to generate documentation, say in a sprint, to share documentation between teams. Maybe you want to do it to start building your documentation for your training manuals. Thank you very much.